first real six string Called it at the five and nine Played until my fingers bled Was the summer of 69 Me and some boys from school Made a band and we tried real hard Johnny quit, Jody got married Should've known we'd never get far Summer seemed to last forever And if I had a choice You know I'd always want to be there Those were the best days of my life Oh yeah And in the summer of 69 Alright There we have it, Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. What's going on? My name is David Potts. I'm with Song Notes. I'm going to teach you how to play this song right now. It's obviously a classic, and it's a pretty good one to learn. It's only four chords for the most part, uh, and it's pretty beginner-friendly with a few little hurdles, but I'll help you get over them, okay? Um, as always, check out my website, songnotes.cc, all the tabs I'm going to use for this lesson. You can find there if you want to access them outside of this video. Here's what I'm going to cover today. Uh, I'm going to go through the chords and I'm going to go through strumming pattern stuff. I'm going to show you how you put those together and you can play the verse and you can play the chorus and you can play the bridge. And the last part of this lesson, I really want to break down this intro part, okay? This. Uh, yeah, you hear this from Brian Adams, especially in the unplugged version he did for MTV. It sounds really good. It's easy to approach. It's kind of hard to master, but I'm going to show you how to practice it, how to break down the various pieces so that you can play it. And if you want to sing on top of it, you can do that too. And if you want to strum it instead of pick it, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can take away from this technique. So let's get going with the lesson, okay? So the four main chords you're going to need for this song are right here. You have your D, your G, your A, and your B minor. So your D is your root. This is your main chord. You're going to start in the fourth string, keep it open, and then do second, third, second. Okay? Your A starts on the fifth string, leave that open, and do second, 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 open. Your G is start on the bottom string, the, the low E string, third, second, open, 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 third. Okay? And then your B minor. Starts on the fifth string. Now this can be a bit of a tougher chord if you're especially a beginner, but don't let it scare you away because it's a good uh, sort of gateway transition chord to learning bar chords. Or you're going to do second, fourth, fourth, third. Okay? So you're going index on second, pinky and ring on fourth, fourth, and then middle on third. And you're only playing, in this case, the middle four strings. If you want to bar the second string, your second finger is going to play the fifth string, the low fifth string, and the high E string. So second, fourth, fourth, third, second. So those are the four chords you're going to need, okay? Um, these are good ones to learn if you're new. Like, don't let this B minor scare you away again. But what I want to show you is taking uh, the D and the A a step further, we have some really good, cool variations you can do. So these are the, the sus chords, where basically if you're in a D, if you take off your middle finger, you get open, second, third, open. And then you can and then that's D sus two. And if you put your middle finger back, you're back to D. And if you put your pinky down on the third fret of the high string, you get D sus four. And back to just D. So again, your D is your starting chord here, and I want you to really understand that you can start on D. And all I'm doing there is going from D, D sus 2, D, D sus 4, D, D sus 2, D. Okay? It's, um, it's, it's a good kind of thing that sounds. There's tons of songs that use this, so it's definitely great to learn. And same with A. So with A, you're going to put your, you're either going to take off 
on the second string, so. So this is A, if you take off the second string. This is A sus2. Go back to A, and then A sus4 is put your pinky down. So. Um, again, great stuff to learn here. You're gonna use these, and how these play into the song is basically Okay, so that's that whole riff you hear right there. It's using these chords. Okay, for strumming pattern for this song, I would recommend, if you're new, especially to guitar, if you're kind of a beginner, I would recommend a down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, okay? If you're doing a D chord, it would sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Yeah, and notice how my, you wanna keep your right hand moving, okay? Always going up and down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. I got my first real six string, but it at the five and done. And so on and so forth, right? So a good transition strum, if you wanna take it a bit further, is to do all down strums. You wanna do a muted strum, so you're kinda, you're kinda resting your hand down here. Okay? Do a D. And then on the first and fourth out of 16 counts, only the first and fourth are gonna accent it, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this kind of mimics the electric sound he does, right? In the electric in the sort of studio version of this song. Um, getting those down strums is good because one of the next things I want to show you is how to practice this, this sort of new, this sort of triplet timing for getting the... What you can do with all down strums, which is... So here's how I recommend practicing that. So the key here is you have to sort of um, memorize or, or kind of understand this new, um, not really a strumming pattern, but it's a timing thing where you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And basically what you're gonna do is distribute your, your D chords over it like this. So I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna strum the first part of each triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three. and so on. So you can approach this with strumming or picking in many ways. Here's doing it with all down strums. And notice in each of those triplets, I'm accenting the first of the three beats, okay? You can also do it with alternating up and down strumming. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, hit the, I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's, with your right hand, it's kind of easy, but with your left hand, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Cool, and if you wanna take it to do picking individual strings, First of all, practice what I just showed you because you want to have that timing down. It's kind of a weird thing to get down, but once you uh, once you have it, you're going to, for the D chord. You're going to play the highest three strings, and you're always going to start at the top string. So, okay, so.
And you're going to do the same thing for A. So, one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two. With A, you're, you're not going to play the highest string. You're going to play the second, third, and fourth string. So there you go. Now basically you want to, again, watch this again. Look at the order I showed you those things. It's, if, you're, if you're starting out, you probably don't want to start with... You can start with that, but I want you to, to be wary. I want you to have the rhythm down first. Have the rhythm down, have the chords down. Because until you have those things down, it's going to be kind of difficult to master the idea of picking these strings individually. Um, and I also note that I'm going up, up, down. For, for my strumming of the pick direction, up, up, down. Basically, what you want to do is, for the string you're about to play, look to the next string. And if that next string is up, you want to strum up. If it's down, you want to strum down. So up, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, and so on and so forth. Cool, and lastly, I'll show you the bridge, okay? The bridge of this song, you're gonna need an F chord, a B flat chord, which I like to do the F shape, but just slid up to the sixth fret, that's where you bar it, six, eight, eight, seven, six, six. And then a C, which is eight, 10, 10, seven, eight, eight. And then back to B flat, so it's four on F, four on B flat, four on C, and four back to B flat, and then F again. I guess nothing can last forever, forever, yeah. Yeah, that should be everything you need for this song. If you need to see the notes or the tabs I put together online, check out the link in the description or check out my website, songnotes.cc. Um, everything you need should be there. So this is, again, a really fun song. Um, stick with it. It took me definitely a while to get this. To get it down. I mean, that first couple of days of me practicing was rough, and it's like anything. You just stay at it day after day, and you kind of you'll find yourself getting better the next. You know, when you pick up your guitar, just naturally, it, it all sort of clicks together. But um, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know in the comments below, and I can uh, answer or respond. But um, thanks again for watching. I hope you like my stuff. Definitely subscribe on YouTube if you want to never miss a lesson. Um, but otherwise, uh, have a great day. Good luck, and keep on rocking. Bye bye.